Let's take a look at our favourite products of the year. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK and the Awards 2018. We've got 12 categories this year which range from best chicken, best savoury snack, best drink and they this year they include the first ever viewer vote. So we've got the viewer vote product of the year as well and of course the overall Food Review UK product of the year 2018 as well. So let's just get in there and kick it off. Our first category is best burger. And it is with a heavy heart that I make the comment that this year it's just been a little bit disappointing overall. I don't think there's been a colossal amount of effort put in from the fast food companies. And it's places like Tesco and independent retailers and independent food producers that are really pushing the most exciting food in the industry. Uh, the fast food companies have sort of phoned it in a lot this year. And it's a lot of the cre creativity that we've seen in the past few years has disappeared this year. But regardless, we've got four nominations. We've got the McDonald's French Stack, the Iceland No Bull Burgers, the McDonald's Brazilian Stack, and the McDonald's Grand Big Mac. Now, three entries from McDonald's there. I should also mention at this point that I'll only be awarding products that I've actually tasted and tried and we've reviewed ourselves. And I don't have a Burger King near me, so it means that I don't get to try the Burger King product so much. Uh, that being said, I do keep an eye on their menu and they haven't had anything too interesting. I think the Bacon King was new this year. Beyond that, there wasn't anything that made me want to take a trip out there, which has happened in the past. Things like the Angriest Whopper, for example. But the winner of the best burger this year is the McDonald's French Stat. I think that overall, the flavour was really tasty and whilst it was actually quite a boring burger, basically just had garlic mayo was the main thing that was different, pretty much everyone unanimously enjoyed it. Uh, if you thought you were going to like it, you, you ended up liking it from the comments that we see on the video. And it was just a really tasty burger, albeit quite boring. Next up, best pizza. The nominations are Papa John's Barbecue Cheeseburger, Domino's The Cheeseburger, Morrison's Yorkshire Pudding Pizza, and Subway Pepperoni Pizza. Yes, the Subway Pepperoni Pizza isn't really a pizza, but <sighs> the pizza companies have probably been the biggest disappointment this year. Papa John's released the Deep Crust last year and it was absolutely incredible. We loved that product, but they've discontinued it this year and they haven't really done anything too crazy. They did release a hog roast pizza, but it's certainly not Whilst it was a bold idea, certainly wasn't good enough to be uh, nominated for best pizza. A lot of you guys told me that you enjoyed all of the uh, cheeseburger pizzas that were done by both Papa John's and Domino's. And that was a particularly recent video on the channel. But the winner for me is the Subway Pepperoni Pizza. It tastes absolutely delicious. It's quite a simple product. And honestly, out of all those things on that list, easily, easily the thing that is the tastiest and that I would want to eat again. So yeah, the winner of the best pizza this year, it's not even a pizza. Controversial! Let us know in the comments below if you think I'm a dick. Best chicken products, so this is best fast food chicken. The nominations are the KFC Zinger Double Down, the Burger King Crispy Chicken, the Papa John's Tandoori Chicken Bites, and the McDonald's Fiery Buffalo Chicken Wrap, which is actually called the Fiery Buffalo Chicken One, and it's part of their Big Flavor Wraps range. But the winner is the KFC Zinger Double Down. The Double Down, when we first got it in 2017, was an absolutely delicious and incredible product. And they brought it back this year and then they followed it up with the new version, the Zinger. I would say the Zinger is probably better than the original Double Down. However, I would say check out the Fusion video that we did where we added Supercharger Sauce. Because that just took it to the next level and made it absolutely incredible. Delicious product. Um... Very, one of these sort of post-2016 OTT madness products. Double the chicken, replacing the bread with the chicken, blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying words now. Next category, best savoury snack. The nominations are Walker's Max Strong Hot Chicken Wings, Seabrook Fiery Wood Smoked, this was the Alton Towers flavour, Kettle Discovery's Buttermilk Chicken with Sriracha Mayo, Pringles Chips and Curry Sauce, and this is the only category that has got five entrants, uh, Walker's Sensations Mumbai Mix. 
It's been a great year for crisps, I would say that. There's been lots of very interesting flavours, and that goes as far as the supermarkets themselves coming up with bold and crazy ideas. Tesco have revamped their whole range. You had Iceland releasing Christmas tree flavour crisps around the Christmas period. Uh, Walkers, a brand that I'm not traditionally a massive fan of, have got a few entries in this uh, category. The Max Strong Hot Chicken Wings, that was an absolutely fantastic product with brilliant flavour. It is quite spicy and an unbelievable texture. And this was also voted for one of your guys' favourite products of the year as well. So across the board, just some really great entrants. And this was really hard. I genuinely, genuinely could have chosen any of these because they're all fantastic. The Seabrook Fiery Wood Smoke have got such a great depth of flavour and they're very spicy. Uh, the Kettle Discoveries Buttermilk Chicken and Sriracha Absolutely delicious. Again, great depth of flavour and something a bit different. But I had to make the winner the Walker Sensations Mumbai Mix. We reviewed it really recently. And the depth of flavour, again, in that one was so good. The mixture of all the different elements. It had like uh, almost onion bargy style sort of crackers and uh, spiced onion cashew nuts. And it was sweet, it was herby. It was absolutely delicious, really great product and still readily available. In fact, I think I think all of these are readily available still apart from the Pringles chips and curry sauce, which I should think should have become a, a permanent flavour as well. Best sweet snack. Nominations are Marks and Spencer's Chocolate Cashew Nuts. This is a really recent review. The Grenade Birthday Cake Bar. The Cookie Mill Cookies. The ones that I reviewed were the Vampire and the Christmas Cookies and the original uh, chocolate chip. Uh, and a special mention to the Cookie Mill Triple Salted Caramel Cookie. I've not actually reviewed it on the channel yet, although it is my intention to very soon. Had I have reviewed that, it would have actually won because that is just incredible. But the winner is the Cookie Mill Cookies. The Cookie Mill is uh, run by our friend and co-presenter Rich, aka Tagotal, the guy on the left. He's an incredible guy. And I'm sure there'll be I'm sure there'll be comments of bias and whatever um, about this, but once you taste them, you become a believer. A a anyone who's like, oh, he's your mate. Of course, I'm going to give him a good review. Um, just try them, uh, or or look at the reviews on Etsy. These products are so good. Uh, they are thick, uh, crispy on the outside, and chewy. Well, I say chewy in the middle. They're chewy pretty much just right up into the exterior because they're so thick. Uh, and the way he cooks them in rings, uh, they're just amazing. It's an amazing product. And just basically, I'm saying generally, the Cookie Mill cookies are the best product of the year in the sweet snack category. Like I say, I will review more. Uh, the normal Ultimate box is uh, available now, or it should be available now, because, of course, Rich closed for Christmas. Uh, and I believe he's tweaking the flavours in there, so it might be a, a slightly different Ultimate box box than you might have had in the past. I believe we're saying goodbye to the monster cookie and we're welp welcoming a new flavour. Anyway, I definitely want to become like a like a historical um, reviewer. I want to review every flavour that he's done, including the monster. I'm going to ask Rich to do like a special, special batch or special one-off monster cookie for me so I can review each flavour on the YouTube channel. Uh, probably it'll be in, in one video for the ultimate box and then each subsequent new flavour I'll do a review on. So we've got a record of what he's done. They are amazing. Go and check them out. Next up, the best dessert. The nominations are Jude's Black Coconut, haagen Peanut Butter Crunch, haagen Speculoos Tiramisu, and Pots and Co Salted Caramel Brulee. This was another hard category. There's been some really tasty desserts, and actually, in terms of ice cream, there's there's been a great movement in the uh, in the ice cream sector. There's been some great movement in the ice cream sector this year. I think Ben and Jerry's have fallen off the wagon completely. They're following a good few years of innovation and really tasty and interesting products like cinnamon buns, for example. This year, they've absolutely phoned it in. Even their Christmas uh, flavour, all things spice and nice, was just caramel ice cream with a bit of gingerbread in. Really unimaginative. Uh, and their birthday cake uh, was very disappointing earlier in the year. But Jude's great brand and the black coconut was so tasty. I love coconut ice cream, but I don't like when it's got the little coconut pieces in because I find that they, uh, my mouth is just filled with coconut shards at the end. Um, but this didn't have pieces in, it was pitch black and really sweet and tasty. Hargadabs absolutely smashed it with their products this year as well, as they always do. 
But again, as they always do, Potts & Co smashed it. And Potts & Co are the winner with their salted caramel brulee. Uh, had a, an amazing, amazing flavour. Probably up with one of my favourite products of all time. Their chocolate salted caramel. But this one, that, that is just a, a, like a cream dessert on its own. This one has got the added texture. A bit of crunch. A bit of crunch. Because it's got all those um, different flakes on top. It's got like cacao and biscuit. And it's just an absolute treat for both the uh, senses of taste and texture. Those aren't really senses. Anyway, next <laughs> category is best chocolate. The nominations are Charlene's Chocolate Factory, Caramel Salt and Smoke, Bizarre Bahama Caramel Rum and Banana, Maltesers Truffles, and L'Atelier Caramelised Blonde Chocolate and Nuts. <sighs> this was, uh, again... A, such a great category. Chocolate has probably seen the most interesting movement, both from, to be fair, uh, the big companies and the smaller, more independent companies. Companies like the Chocolate Smiths and Charlene's Chocolate Factory, absolutely incredible companies, and we love both of them. We've been fortunate enough to um, have received products from both of them as well, and they are both superb. I'd say check out both of their websites. But Nestle... L'Atelier, that was an incredible launch in this company. When I was over in France recently, I saw a load over there as well, as I believe it is quite a big European sub-brand. Um, but the, the caramelised blonde chocolate and nuts was insane. Absolutely loved it. And the Maltesers truffles, they sort of surprised me of how tasty they are. Really nice texture, very, very Moorish, quite a dangerous product. Uh, just a little bit expensive, so I'd say try and pick them up in the January sales, because I think they've gone certainly on clearance at Tesco, whilst they probably try and get their um, supplies back down. I'm sure they'll be available year-round, but obviously sales are a thing. And a few of you guys also voted for Maltesers Truffles as your product of the year as well, I should mention. But the winner of this category, it was tough, but I'm going to go with Charlene's Chocolate Factory, the Caramel Salt and Smoke Bar. <laughs> It is so good. I love um, I love the combination of sweet and savoury, or more specifically, salt and sweet. Um, particularly when it is sea salt, and on top of that, particularly when it is chunks of sea salt. So either when the salt is strong, or when you can actually uh, feel it because of the texture and the snap and the crunch of the salt. And this product uh, had not only that, but it was slightly smoky, uh, and it had this caramelised blonde chocolate in as well. Uh, literally making my mouth water talk about it. Pfft, incredible, go and check it out. It's actually their top seller. Just go and buy it immediately. Next up, in a year that Coca-Cola had a big rebrand, a big relaunch, and introduced some new flavours, we're going to talk about drinks. Uh, and I've not got any Coca-Cola products in here, actually. Uh, I've only got three things that I thought were worthy of really being mentioned as being best of the year. And that is the Bar Rhubarb and Custard Soda, which is very recent, absolutely delicious. The Vimto Remix Watermelon and the For Real Vanilla Milkshake. And my winner is the For Real Vanilla Milkshake. This is a product that you can get from basically uh, sort of attractions, touristy type attractions. So I've bought a couple from Alton Towers. I've actually been to Alton Towers three times this year. If you want to see the antics that we got up to, go and check out the Life of Michael Jameson channel because we filmed a number of vlogs from Alton Towers this year. Yes, guys, the award show has to have some promotion in still. But this for real milkshake is so tasty. Whenever I see it, uh, I will probably buy it now. It's so good. And actually, I think in my review at first, I think I gave it four stars, but it's just grown and grown and grown on me. Um, they're not... <sighs> oh, yeah, I should say, they're not only at attractions, actually. They're mainly at Asda Locals or smaller as the branches. You usually find them anywhere north of Birmingham, I think. I live in a black spot where there's no sort of Asda's that have for real sort of anywhere near me. But yeah, they're just incredibly delicious, creamy, and they've got sweet vanilla flavor, really, really tasty. Next up, best unusual flavor choice. This is a new category for this year, and I wanna, wanna highlight companies pushing the envelope on weird flavors. And so the nominees are Tesco Honey Cola, Krispy Kreme Vimto, Marks and Spencer's Rhubarb and Custard Curd, and I, I mean Marks and Spencer's as in it's Marks and Spencer's product, not Marks and Spencer's, because they're actually called Marks and Spencer. And Papa John's Hog Roast Pizza. The winner is Tesco Honey Cola. All of the others, uh, you can kind of imagine, and uh, they're, they're not, it's not a huge leap, although I do still think they're all great ideas. I think the Honey Cola, the fact that Tesco released this, 
no one, no one else had come up with this before. Like this hadn't happened before, and it's a great idea, great concept, and I just well done to Tesco for actually doing it. Like that's great. It's something that the bigger companies should be doing, but it was down to Tesco to do it. So great work. Now, before we move on to your favourite product of the year and my favourite product of the year, let's talk about the worst product of the year. The nominees are Epic Snacks Cotton Candy Popcorn, Cadbury Joy Fills, Twix Soft Centre Biscuits and M&M's Crispy Spread. So whilst I'm saying worst product of the year, none of these were probably the worst thing I ever ate in the year, but all of them carry a huge weight of hype. Uh, and a huge weight of disappointment with them. Uh, the Epic Snacks, I tried to talk to them for absolutely ages to try and source this product because I could not find it anywhere near me. Um, they said they'd send some out to me, then I just tried, uh, didn't receive it. Then I tried contacting them and they were just so hard to contact. Eventually I found it and in that same week they had resent a case out to me. Um, and, but they still didn't communicate with me. They didn't tell me it was coming. They didn't. Uh, it was just an awful thing. And then the, the product was just bad. It's just not a good product. Um, I actually found it in Tesco in the end, in the foreign aisle, even though it is a UK product. Uh, Cadbury Joy Fills, com hideously, hideously mismarketed. If you eat it with milk, they're very nice. They are. It's a nice product, but. It's a product that should have been cereal, it should be available in the cereal aisle, and it should be at least double less cost, or half the amount of cost. Um, horribly marketed product, one of the worst marketed products in history, and in fact I want to do a video one day where I talk about the, or I read out the comments, reacting to the comments on the Cadbury Joy Fills Instagram adverts, because oh my god. And then the Twix on sock. <laughs> I don't know what happened there to my voice. The Twix Soft Centre Biscuits. Um, bad, just bad. Doesn't taste like Twix and just horrible. Uh, and the M&M's Crispy Spread doesn't taste like M&M's whatsoever. And it's a hazelnut. It's a, yeah, it's a hazelnut spread for, for no reason. Uh, the winner's got to be Cadbury Joy Fills. <laughs> horribly, horribly marketed product. And the amount of rage that you guys felt on that video it was it had to be the winner of the worst product uh, now penultimately let's get to the viewers vote your choice of best product of the year um, we ran this on Instagram and I uploaded a video on the YouTube channel as well where you voted and uh, there was a few that were sort of joint winners so I counted the best winner as the comment with the most number of likes. Now the, the, the runners up I guess are Maltesers Truffles which had a couple of comments, the Kettle Discoveries Buttermilk Chicken had a couple of comments but in third place it's the Bobby's Sticky Barbecue Rib Snacks really happy to see a Bobby's product in here is a great product and uh, that's superb in second place this one's bloody in inexplicable to me the fridge Irish coffee cannot get my head around that whatsoever but it had a high number of likes on the actual comments um, I don't I don't agree whatsoever I don't think it's a great product uh, but the first place in first place position is the KFC's new fries I think this had the most comments I think it had something like three or four across Instagram and YouTube uh, and it had um, the most number of likes as well um, interestingly if you actually go to the KFC new fries video there's a hell of a lot of people saying they don't like the change a hell of a lot but there's a hell of a lot of saying that they do like the change as well I'm personally one of the people that really likes the change uh, I've had KFC a few times since it changed the fries and they go so much better with the gravy, they're much thicker for the gravy and I just think they're a bit tastier. Uh, yeah they're quite soggy, I don't think I've ever had them where they're particularly crispy but I, I like them. So uh, right here we go guys, it's now on to the product of the year. We've only got one product in this category that hasn't been mentioned in one of the other categories of the video. So the nominations for product of the year 2018 are the Walker's Sensations Mumbai Mix, the KFC Zinger Double Down, the Charlene's Chocolate Factory Caramel Salt and Smoke Bar, and the Morrison's Salted Caramel Butter. So that being the only one that we've not discussed so far, let's talk about that. Uh, absolutely delicious <laughs> and, uh, uh, and quite a weird idea as well actually. Uh, it, is a, it is literally butter but it's got like golden syrup mixed into it along with salt and um, caramel flavouring or something like that. Uh, it tastes absolutely 
incredible. Um, I bought one tub and that week was just like having it on crumpets and having it on bread and trying it. <laughs> it was so good. I don't know if they still sell it. If they do, maybe I'll pick up another tub because it is so good. Um, but my winner of product of the year is the Charlene's Chocolate Factory Caramel Salt and Smoke Bar. If you go back and watch the, the video, the review for that, video, for that product, it, it just blows me away and it is an incredibly incredibly an incredibly delicious product it's unique it's different super tasty salty sweet great texture creamy it's just a fantastic product and and a well deserving product and of course it's totally readily available guys so you, you can buy it online so get your orders in is what I would say so Thank you very much for watching the awards 2018. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with any of the choices. I'd love to keep the conversation going below. And I'll see you in the new year, which is this year now. This is the new year. So I'll see you now and ongoing. If you're new, please subscribe. Cheers.